All right, what's up everyone? Today I am going to create a cluster between the R610 server and my temporary server. Uh, we're going to then migrate all of the containers and virtual machines from the temporary server back over to the R610 server. And then I'm gonna show you how to delete that cluster and clean everything up because I don't need it. Maybe you need a cluster, but, but I don't. So let's get to it next on Low Res DIY. All right, so let's go ahead and start off by making this cluster. The first thing we're going to want to do is let's go up to the upper left corner and we're going to click on data center. The new menu will come up. We'll click on cluster and then we're going to choose create cluster. Now, I don't know about you guys, but myself I kind of like giving these things some crazy names or whatnot so I don't forget them. So we're going to call this guy temp cluster. Watch out now. We're going to hit create. Give it a couple seconds and task is okay. So it's created the cluster for us. So we'll X out of that. Let's click on our cluster. You can see it right here and let's join information. So this big long string of stuff, you can go ahead and copy this uh, right click. Well, actually, why don't you, why don't we just go ahead and click on copy information. Let's go the easy route with this one. X out of this and let's go over to our uh, the R610 and we'll do the same thing here data center cluster let's join cluster right click paste that information in and we will give it the password for the temporary uh, the low res temp server and let's go ahead and click join cluster give it a couple seconds or minutes let's see what it takes here All right, so that was kind of weird. I let it run, ran downstairs, got myself a beer and everything came back. It was still sitting on that screen. Uh, so I just refreshed the menu and bam, here's our cluster. So now you can see low res temp. If we go back over to low res temp, yep, there's low res. So I don't know why it got hung up there, but I don't know, guess it's a little problem as long as everything worked. So next up, we are going to start uh, shuffling the containers over to the R610. Let's start out with our Unify container here. We're going to right click on it, go down to migrate, and it'll fill everything in for you because it already knows what the other node is. If there were other or more than one node, two, three, four, five, you could choose it here, but we only have the one. So let's go ahead and click on migrate and kick back and wait for it to do its job. All right, it says task okay. So let's close this guy out and look at that. Low res temp, unify is not there anymore. It's up here in low res. Looks like it's going ahead and starting up. So let's uh, give it a second and see if we can log into it. And there it is. And now it's running off of the low res server, not the low res temp server. So it's just that easy to move it over to another machine once we create the cluster. So let's go ahead and let's move a VM now. And you might not be able to believe this because it's, it's pretty amazing. The steps to move a VM are exactly the same as the ones to move a container so you just go down to the vm right click on it slide on down to migrate click it again it's going to ask you where you want to take it to and everything your storage you want to have it on i'm just going to leave that alone because i want it to be on the local storage just like it is now and then click migrate and sit back and wait now this is going to take a little bit longer yeah, probably four to five times longer or maybe more depending on how big your VM is than it will a container. So, so definitely run on down and click on that like button and that subscribe button while you're waiting. Okay, we have the task complete. So let's go ahead and X out of that. And you'll notice the VM has now moved up to the low res server where we want it at. So if we click on console 
you'll notice that it's starting to load up and everything if we want to log into it i think i had fat i think i fat fingered that one yeah i did and i can log into it so that is how you migrate containers and virtual machines over from one machine to the other. I'm gonna go ahead and migrate the rest of these over to the R610, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to go ahead and remove that cluster that we joined. Just uh, that way, if you wanna create another one later or something like that, you have the option. You're not stuck still joined to that cluster. Be back. Okay, last thing to do is to remove this node from the cluster and then delete the cluster. So let's go into the low res shell and we're going to start off with this command right here pvecm space nodes and that will list all the nodes that are in this cluster. You can see node one is low res temp and uh, node two is low res. We're going to delete low res temp from this with this command right here, pvecm del node, and we're gonna put in low dash res dash temp. Okay, that node is killed. Okay, let's rerun the nodes command, and you can see that low res temp's gone now. But is our cluster still there? Yep, the cluster is still there. I want to delete that also. So let's go back to low res. And the first thing we're going to do is run this command right here, pvecm expected one. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell the node, our final node, low res, that there, there's no quorum. There's only one vote. You got it. Otherwise, you could run into some problems and may not be able to get back into uh, this machine. So let's run that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to stop the cluster from running with this command, systemctl stop pve cluster. And then we're going to start it back up again, but with a different command. We're going to use this guy right here, pmxcfs space dash uh, one or L. And what that's going to do is it's going to start the cluster back up, but it's going to start it in local mode so let's go ahead and, and uh start it up see force local mode next up we've got some files that we want to delete and we're going to start off with rm space dash f the dash f means it's going to force the system even if, if it doesn't want to it's going to force it to delete these files the etc pve cluster dot comp and the etc pve coral sync dot comp all right that is deleted Next up, we're going to delete this guy. Same command, rm-f forward slash etc cluster, cluster.config, etc uh, uh, coral sync slash coral sync.config. And then we're going to delete the last one here. Uh, rm bar live pve cluster dot blah, 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 block, lock file that's where your uh, key was stored at once you get that done we want to go ahead and stop the cluster again with the same command system stop pve cluster give it a second and now we want to go ahead and reboot the system so let's reboot it okay with the system rebooted let's log back in let's just do a refresh on it we'll go to data center and the cluster is now gone. So, all right, job done. Okay, so we went through, made the cluster, moved all the VMs and containers, and then we deleted the cluster. Before uh, I sign off with this video, I, I wanna make something very clear. These clusters are very finicky. So, uh, follow all the steps exactly as they are because you could very easily lock yourself out of that machine out of that node and have to start all over again so if you're going to use a cluster to move move uh containers and virtual machines to another node make backups of everything all your vms all your containers because i'm telling you I've, I've found out through this process it can happen like that and you're starting all over again and 
hopefully if you if you don't have the backups you'll be up shit creek in a hurry so until next time thanks for watching reach down karate chop that like button and roundhouse kick that subscribe button and we'll catch you next time